So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look around the reptile room at night, see what the animals actually get up to at night. We're going to feed a couple of the snakes while we're there, why not? We're going to look for leopard gecko eggs. We're going to check the incubator, see what eggs are in there, and the morning geckos. Sorry if you can hear some buzzing in the background. The uh, incubator has just decided it wanted to start coming on. We have actually got a leopard gecko egg in there that's due to hatch tonight. So hopefully we'll catch that one hatching. Fingers crossed, we'll show that one off a bit later. Let me know in the comments what your partner thinks of you keeping rodents in a freezer, just your normal everyday freezer with your normal food. My missus always says, if we ever move in together, you're never going to be doing that. I will. I'll be doing it. I'll, I'll find a way. I'll make a secret compartment or something in there. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button if your missus or your fella absolutely hates it. The lights are just starting to sort of click off in the reptile room now. So we'll just have a little look around, see how things are at the minute. Uh, we've got Hugo just down there. He's just waiting to go to bed. He's just all slobbed out. You can see just there. I don't want to disturb him too much. Up here in this dark one, we have got a light, which we're going to use. You see popcorn down the back there. Uh, yep, there's popcorn. So we'll come back and see her when it's night time. I mean, we've got the leopard gecko build. That's coming on. We've got some more slate for that. We've got to be quiet. Jacob's asleep in the bedroom. Shh. We've still got the big tarantula build with the um, new dawn LED lights in the top. That's absolutely amazing. That's coming out great. Now, the main thing, you can obviously see we've had a little bit of a move around, but we've got the morning geckos just in here. We'll come around again a, a bit later. The lights have just gone off, so they're all just settling down for the night. Rosie, the boa, she's proper waiting for her meal. She is. Uh, Diego, we'll, we'll check him out again once the lights have gone because he's still fairly active. In here, this raggedy old enclosure, I've got the centipede, uh, the giant Vietnamese centipede. We've got Mushu just there, you can see his tail hanging from the light just there. Down here, um, doo -doo -doo, there he is, super past our yellow belly, he's waiting for a food. Down here, there's Millie just coming out of a lay box. You can see Donna underneath for as well. And there's, see how the substrate in that box is all about built up over on one side. Chances are there's eggs in there, so we'll check that out later as well. Um, so with all them, let's have a look what else we've got up here. I don't know if you'll see anything in oh just at the back there. Can you see the that's the uh brachypalma albi palosum that's not a brachypalma anymore? I've got the millipede in that one just there. It's just gonna be a good little walk around once we start to see the light fading because as you can tell it's still fairly light outside that's my soft box just there so i'll probably have that on a bit later when i'm coming down and looking at some of this we've got this big enclosure down here now that's going to be for mushu that's in there uh, mushu uh, what's going to be going in there then well the royal python just down there he's going to be going in there going to make it all out our boreal it's going to be beautiful and we're just going to have a good walk around once the light has truly faded now i mean the leopard geckos they are out at the moment but they're both in the lay box so I don't want to disturb them too much, just in case they are actually laying. I'm hoping the tarantula in this enclosure will come out once his light comes up. He's been in his um, hide all webbed away for quite a while now, a good couple of weeks. So I'm thinking maybe pre molt But the luckily, lucky part about it is, we, oh, you can see some legs uh, just in there. Don't know how well you can see the legs. But we do have a peephole in that hide so we might just have a look there it'll be interesting to see the leopard gecko the morning geckos because we've got more eggs there so i want to show that one off a little bit maybe get a bit of your advice it's just going to be a good day right join me in a couple of hours when the lights faded outside the nocturnal animals have all come out and we're going to feed some snakes as well just for the sheer fun of it it's dark or oh, getting really dark outside we're going to do popcorn first here's my light you can see the reflection just there and there's popcorn. You can see her. She's or he is really hungry. She's been actively out hunting for ages. Now I can't hold the lights and grab the rodent. So bear with me for a second while I've got to massively try and push to open this door. Because if you've ever had a big vivarium, you know how hard it can be to actually open the glass because the glass can be quiet I'm only going to open it a little bit she will or he will come over as soon as he senses that I'm in the enclosure just like you guys are right now there we go he's down there so I'm going to put it just there on top of that hide I'll show you now I can put that tongs down there it is 
It's just sat there. He sat over there. If I start going, hello there, Mr. Popcorn. So basically going to leave that there for all of a few minutes. He will come over. You can see he's starting to come over. I'm going to take this opportunity to attempt to hold the light and shut the glass. There we go. If you've ever had a bin closed, you know how fascinating and how hard it can be. Oh, the incubator's just kicked on. How hard it can be to close the glass sometimes. Look at that. He's really pulled his lights down. You can see the lights up there. But he can sense something's there. The rodent is just there. His head is just there. Let's see what happens. He knows something's there. I'm going to dim the light down that little bit just like that. So it's not blinding him. It's not doing anything like that. And we're just going to see what actually happens. I absolutely love this enclosure. Everything right down to the Buddha on the back. All the woodwork. Big water dish. She's got this big hide here. Which I've just basically got a plastic tub. Covered it in glue. And covered it in cocoa fibre. It just never really worked out too well. Here he comes. Rodents on the top. Let's just see what he makes. He looks absolutely amazing. When he's all stretched out just like that. Good six foot snake. He had a good shed not long ago. Let's just see him. It's right behind you, buddy. I'm shining the light up so it's not really going to be disturbing him too much. What's up with you, mate? He is absolutely amazing. He really is an amazing animal. But he's got an extra large rat. It seems like he's missed it. He's more concentrating on me and the light than anything else. But anyway, let's sort of leave him. Oh, he's just, I think he's just sensed it. He's just, oh, here we go. He's going to get it at the wrong end, isn't he? I mean, he will eventually sort of move it round to get the head, but still. Oh, he's found the tail. Please don't just grab the tail, you donk. Look at that. See, he's just snuck for the tail. Are you a plonker, mate? Are you a plonker? Don't look at me in that tone of voice, man. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Right, we'll just quickly move on from him. We'll go down to here to the incubator. I'll turn the light off. Open it up. I'll turn the light on in there, actually. Open it up. Because we have got one egg left in this tub, just here, that's about ready to hatch. But, it's not hatching yet. Or is it? Nope, it's not hatching just yet. So we'll have to come back to that one again another time. I've got a couple of tubs in there, so I'll drop that one back in. Get that shut. This is no makeup, no messing around. Still not taking it. Let's have a look for Hugo. You can see Hugo's tail down the back corner there. He's not using his actual hide anymore. He's going around. Oh, look. Here he is. Sorry for disturbing you, mate. Hugo is our savannah monitor. Basically, oh, there he is. I don't want to disturb him too much, so I'm going to walk away. Do -do 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 -do. Dun, 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 dun. Right, that's it for in this room. Let's go on, have a look at the bioactive leopard gecko build so far. We've got all the big rock hide area down there. I found some more slate earlier, so that's for another one. Let's go and check out something in here now. Right, so in here, straight away we've got the uh, tarantula's hide. This is the Asamani. I personally think he's in pre-molt because he hasn't come out of his hide for God knows how long now. You can see the little wooden sort of thing there, that's his hide. But we actually have a peephole which was here. But he's burrowed down, or she's burrowed down to there. You can see her legs. And yeah, so she's in a hide. I'm absolutely loving it. This is the reptile room by torchlight. I bet the people out in the window think, hold on, what is he doing? <laughs> Got all the plants right by the or some of the plants right by the window and yeah. Couple of tubs of live food, that's for another video I'm doing tomorrow. Got the mealworm breeding over there, superworm breeding in there, dubia roach colony in there. Down here, in the bottom tub, we have got, who desperately needs a clean out, if we can find him. It's probably under his hide. How am I going to do this now? Right, if I, I'll just go in and pick it up. It's probably under his hot hide. And uh, no, he's not under his hot hide. I wonder where he's gone. That is a valid point, actually. Where is Mac? Have we lost? Oh, there he is. Because he's tail down the back corner. Just there. He's 
basically behind that plant. Let's try and there he is. So he's nice and active. I can't wait to get him out of this tub system. I hate tub systems, but he'll be going over here eventually. Oh look, Rosie, she's out and about. She knows she's gonna get a feed in a minute. Let's go up to the morning geckos, because these are other ones I find fascinating. And she stuck that cup over a set of eggs that are due to hatch. So the babies would hatch into that cup and I'll be able to transfer them into one of these baby rearing enclosures. However, They've since laid more eggs, as you can tell. Got two there, and two down the back there, can you see them? So now we've got six eggs that I can see at the minute, and I can't actually see any of the morning geckos to show you. So they, oh, there's one on the back wall over there. But yeah, that's them, we've got the baby that's or they're not so much baby anymore, she'll be getting transferred. In here is the baby leopard gecko. Uh, the only one that's hatched. I'll move that light out of the way so we can got no cape. What do you think of these? Uh... Hold on, I'm trying to hold the light and talk at the same time. What do you think of these sort of no makeup, just walking around, talking sort of videos? I'm keeping it a bit quiet because Jacob is asleep. But let's see if we can find, there she is. Absolutely stunning creature. She's really putting some weight on massively. So she'll be getting more feed. Check out the pattern on her head now. Wow, she is absolutely stunning. Looks like she's going into shed. But yeah, she's just doing absolutely amazingly. Alright, put that back over there and I'll go and can I put it back? Yep, she's gone into a moist hide. Get the lid back on nice and secure so that she can't get out while I'm showing you the rest of the reptile room at night. But it's nice to see them active. Right, up here, don't know if we'll be able to, oh, there we go. The Scolopendra Black Flame is out in full force. Looks like it's about to go into sh a shed. It's proper just splayed out all over the place. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Um, there's absolutely nothing in that enclosure. There's nothing in that enclosure because they're just growing out. It's a lovely puffas plant growing nicely in there. Down here is Mushu, our Calyx versicolor. Right, you can see his tail hanging down from the light. He's up behind the actual heat bulb cage. Don't know how well you can see any of it, but yeah, he's up there. Down here, Charlie. Ah. Super pastel, yellow belly royal python. I'm gonna get a feed for him in a second, but it's nice to see him all out, act nice and active. And then we'll come down here. You can see we've still got Millie just there. Hello, Millie. Say hello to the camera, you're famous. Donna is down there, she's not, is she laying? No, she's not laying, but you can see how all the substrate is kicked up into one corner. So I'm gonna get that out. Uh, right now after I've had a quick look around and we'll go through that together and have a look for some eggs There will be some in there. Oh, look at Diego. Just fast asleep Loving life On his cold side just slobbed out check out the sexy leg just dangling down nicely But yeah, he's fast asleep as expected She is proper waiting for her food. So we'll go and get that now and while we're coming through the front room, let's have a look at... Oh, here we go. So it looks like she's constricted the rat. There's the rat's head. There's its tail. So, yeah, we'll see how that one plays out. Through. For this part of the feeding, I've put the lights on because it was hard to adjust to work the actual light and the feeding all at the same time. She is very responsive. Oh God, yeah, very, very responsive. Sorry if you can't really catch much of it, but. Oh, successful boa constrictor feeding. Now we're gonna do Charlie, the super passed out yellow belly. Now he is very clumsy, very alert. It's one of the most alert um, royal pythons or bull pythons I've ever had in my collection, ever. Um, but yeah, clumsy wise, watch. 
He doesn't even know it's there yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is the first time he has ever grabbed it. First try. Whoosh. There's that. Do you want something to eat? Do you want something to eat? What about you in there? Right, should we get you guys out and check your eggs? Right then. Well, sorry girl, but I'm gonna have to go out and get your, get your lay box before we, um, oh God, there is a lot of weight in this. I, it's, she's on top of an egg. You can see the egg underneath her. I hope I'm not disturbing her egg laying. I will have a look. If I am disturbing it, I'll put her straight back in and go from there. Oh, this is the problem with leopard gecko breeding. They get really skinny. Right, I am not confident that she hasn't finished laying yet. So I'm going to put the lid back on and put her back in nice and gently because I'm not convinced that she's finished laying. But as you can tell, there is one egg down there. So we do have eggs. Tune in for a future video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see those eggs coming out. I'm gently, gently putting the tub back together to try my hardest to not disturb her. But now that Millie, just there, is out the way a bit. Actually, while we're here, I'm going to have a look underneath the box. Now I can't see any eggs under... Oh, there's one. So we've got one on this side and one over on the other side, which is unusual for them to uh, lay them scattered. But there could be four eggs in there. We're getting a great escape artist now, aren't we, girl? So both Rosie and Charlie have finished their food. Let's go check on popcorn. Let's have a look. Right, it was there, because we left it on top of that hide. She dragged it down there, and he's all the way over here. He's still not got the head, but we'll keep an eye on him. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, hit that thumbs up button.